Today, for the first time, we're eating chakka tang long, a Vietnamese style fish prepared with turmeric and dill. Chakka is traditionally prepared with snakehead fish. The Hanoian has a saying that someone has to try this dish once in life before leaving this world. Hey guys, it's been a really productive day in Hanoi. I was at a cafe called Tranquil, just doing a bunch of video editing. I'm quite famished. Cha sa zang long. I'm probably mispronouncing that. All right, looking at this menu, it looks like it's gonna be quite a big meal. How do you pronounce that? Cha sa? Chaka. 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 Chaka is a unique specialty of Hanoi people, therefore one street in Hanoi was named Chaka Street. I got an empty mug. Exciting. I love this hole in the table. Roasted. See, like, after you touch it with your finger, no oil, no grease. It's currently 5 10 p.m. and people are walking in one by one. The heat isn't on, however, it feels warm. The pieces of fish were pre cooked. I got some chili and what is this? Cilantro, shredded scallion, and the dearly beloved rice noodle. We just got a big bowl of greens. That's lots of dill and lots of scallions. He just cut up the rice noodles. Oh, it looks like he's kindly preparing a small bowl for me, putting a little bit of everything. And a spoonful of that special sauce. Come on! Look at this gloriousness. We begin a chocolate full of dill and the other greenies. That mix of the Vegetable? That is a combo I want to repeat in my kitchen. All right, moment of truth. There's no bone in that. So smooth. All right, I think it's supposed to be eaten more like a pibimpa where you mix all the ingredients as opposed to how I ate it right now. So I'm gonna grab some more fish and then we'll mix it with the noodles. And we'll break apart the meat. All this combo of flavors, admirable. A lot of locals dining here, and not just foreigners. Which at this moment, there are more locals than foreigners. Let's try the sauce by itself. Wow, it is very strong to have the sauce by itself. Very sweet. Um, it's like a. Um, I like to describe it as like a sour candy. The sauce is what makes this meal more exciting. When I first entered this restaurant, there were only two other people, but now, look at this. Lots more. You can think of the fish as the star of the dish, however, the sauce is like a very strong background dancer that demands attention. It's been a while since the waiter came by my table, so I'm assuming I'm done being babysat. No problemo. I prepare my own little bowl now. Put a little bit of these noodles. Quite sticky. These noodles are like a very tight knit family. They don't like to let go. And some of these babies. Just one little slice of chili. That's enough. And of course, this beautiful piece of fish. You gotta love the colors, the yellow golden tones paired with this bold red and green. It's Christmas. I just dabbed this chopstick on my tongue lightly and that chili is burning me already. I'm gonna take this one out. Oh, and let's not forget some of that sauce. These noodles act like a rice to balance out the flavors. I just took a big bite out of the fish skin 
and it's so smooth. It's like having a really soft belly. If you're not a big fan of coriander or dill, mm, this might be a little bit difficult for you to eat, but if you have a very wide uh, taste bud, then you'll enjoy it very much. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks glorious. Come, come, come. All right, so I'm being back to being baby fat. We're putting in the rest of the scallions and dill. Don't you love how the fire comes up and it fizzles out into the air? Oh, that is food porn right there. It's been about a good minute he was stirring. Come on. Come on means thank you. All right, we continue our journey. Oh, steam. As you could hear in the background, it's getting very lively by the minute. And, oh, oh, I just burned myself. I'm gonna have one last piece of this fish. Oh, wait, I think we have a little morsel right here left as well. The skin on that fish is quite thick and it reminds me of thick skin. I'm quite full. Whew. Together that meal cost me 120,000 Viet Dong. Maybe those are the scallions for the chakha. I am pretty stuffed right now. Uh, I've been eating a lot since I got to Hanoi. Well, even in Indonesia and Thailand, I was eating a lot for the travel vlogs. I'm gonna walk back to my hotel. Oftentimes, the sidewalks are taken over by motorbikes parking and people setting up restaurants. You know, tables and chairs like that. Actually, it's my first time walking on this particular street. One of my favorite things about the old quarter is how walkable it is. You can get to all the big attractions by foot. Cheap and cheerful restaurant. I really enjoy the architecture. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of beeping action going on here. When I was in Bali, everyone lets the people in front know that they're passing by them and they beep once, typically, in my experience. But here, they beep like three times. So instead of boom, they go boom, boom, boom. Sometimes even a long beep, a long honk. Look, they have beans right here. Oh, also bibimbap, and that looks like tteokbokki, but they spelled with the extra K instead. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog. I'll see you in the next travel episode. Bye-bye. I'm gonna focus on walking. Oh look, there's another cheap and cheerful restaurant.